Hello everyone, it's Joel from the Fun Pimps, and here we are with uh, Alpha 16 Questions and Answers with Mad Mole, Volume 3. And the first question is from Irish Ghost. Will it be possible to make an option where our if our character dies, you will respawn as a completely new character? Um, yeah, that's pretty much the dead is dead mode that we're planning. So when you die, you're going to lose all your skills, um, probably have an option to go to the character screen and set your avatar and pretty much, yeah, you're going to be wiped out. Our level will be back to zero and our map will be unexplored again. The base that your previous character has made and places she rated will remain. Yep, that's pretty much the debt defines uh, a pretty close description of the dead is dead game mode or game option we want to add. Guppy Kerr, Mad Mole, we didn't get a Christmas Easter egg last year. What the hell, man? You held out on us. <laughs> so my main or my question is, will you put something in for us that represents whatever holiday soon is near? Um, we talked about an Easter egg for Halloween. I don't know. We haven't even started on it though, and Halloween's getting close. So, um, we'll kind of see what happens there. I thought we'd put a hat out for Christmas. Maybe last, maybe that was two years ago. Heck, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I thought we had a Santa hat, but maybe we removed it and nothing, you guys got nothing. So we'll see. We talked about something for Halloween. We might be able to pull that off yet. Um, you know, I've read this guy's name before, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. Q-Man, I'm going to call you, wants to know, will Alpha 16 make the stutter go away? And Alpha 10, 11, or 12, I don't remember we had a permanent action on our hard server with plenty Z without stutter. Um, looting a destroyed town was not possible on your own because more and more Z made you walk backwards while shooting. I made 30,000 kills on that server without cheating. Fun Pimps has proven, I don't know what you're talking about with stutter. Um, we've removed a lot of stutter with Alpha 15, so if you're saying that Alpha 10 or 11 or 12 had less stutter, I think you're mistaken. That's my opinion, because we've actually fixed a lot of the garbage collection that caused the stuttering. And the current version is the smoothest version I've had. So I don't know what stutter would have to do with getting 30,000 kills either. So um, guys, when you're asking questions, keep them simple and short and to the point so that I can actually answer them effectively. Thanks. Um, strengthen inside. Hey, Mad Mole, will there be more bows like a modern compound bow or new crossbows and will we be able to change their crosshair colors in the settings menu? Um, maybe and I don't even know if there'll be a crosshair, you know, I mean, if we get a good iron sight, you don't need a crosshair. I've put in a task just for that exact purpose because there's no, but yeah, we'll probably keep the crosshair. Um, no need to panic there, but yeah, I would like to see, you know, a kick-ass bow like, uh, something like Daryl has in The Walking Dead for sure. Um, it's just a matter of of getting a need for that, you know, I mean, it's like if the, until we get like me and Gaz get a little more settings from the main programmers that allow us to, um, record, um, or get, sorry, <laughs> um, allow us to get some, you know, decent crossbow bolt physics and, you know, basically what we need to do is make it, you know, feel a lot better. And until we get a little finer controls like, you know, range and and um, diminishing power over range and whatnot, then, you know, when it makes more sense, um, then I think we'll do it. So until then, it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know if we can even, yeah, we can make it look, make one that looks cool, but if it doesn't actually perform cool, what's the point? 
that's kind of how I feel about it. So hopefully down the road we can do that. Um, space for Ace. Will there be a female trader added? Um, yeah, we've already got all the vocals. Or maybe not. A, yeah, maybe. I guess we don't have a vocal set for the female trading line. So we kind of need to get that done. There will definitely be some female NPCs coming soon, though. Um, old Bolt. Is there ever going to be a mini-map option like we had back when I initially bought the game? Five or six. I love this in options. Um, no, we don't like the clutter on the menu. So it just it's just not needed. That's what the map's for. Um... And I'm sure there's somebody that can maybe mod that in at some point if there isn't a mod already. But no, we're not planning on bringing it back. Um, Zingo2, hey, Mad Mole, loving the job. You do you. Keep it up. Thank you. Question. Can we have a visual indicator of block stability and structural integrity? Um, I would like to see that. We've got a debug shader that, um, or you know, some way of, of indication. Either it starts to make a creaking sound when when you're walking on the on the last version of it, or maybe when you are holding the block and you're thinking about putting it down, you hear kind of a creaking sound. You know, that would be awesome. I think something like that would be pretty cool so that you know, hey, if I put one, this thing's gonna go, you know, it's gonna break, so save you from making structures that are gonna fall down and learning the hard way. Yeah, so I, I hope so, but whether we get it or not remains to be seen. Uh, Slicks Girl, my question, could you please upgrade the cooking system? I'd love to be able to craft Stoves and ovens, and maybe the perk of them is that they take they may they take more than one pot and grill, and therefore have more crafting space for queuing items. Um, yeah, we're planning an electric oven, and we're going to give food some cooking overhaul. And congratulations for playing the game for over twelve hundred hours. That's awesome. So yes, um, I don't know. Hopefully, Alpha 16 comes with the, the new stove and you know, and some some of the cooking overhaul and hopefully a full overhaul. But I don't know yet. We'll we'll see how long it takes and whatnot. Uh, hey, Mad Mole, love the distant terrain. It adds so much to the game. Is there any chance Molotov cocktails could be added? It'd be great for setting hordes alight. It would be very realistic and easy to make in real life. Um, yeah, I think so. I'll have to put a, put a note down for that and get going on it. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, MDF25. Hey, Mad Mole, loving Alpha 15. With UMA Zeds and Distant Terrain, you guys have done a great job. Thank you. My question. On the Dev Diary Forum, you mentioned you've got a stealth dock with planned features. Yay, so I'd be interested to know... What ideas you have for stealth improvements in future alphas? Um, yeah, I wrote a bunch of cool stuff down, but until the team looks at it and the programmer says, hey, this is doable or this is not doable or this, it's always doable, but this might take six months and we don't have six months as, as, as an option for us. Um, I don't really want to share those ideas with you. So, because everybody will get excited and say, hey, that's awesome. And, or maybe they'll say it sucks, you know, but so it's kind of more of a situation where, um, you know, I might write down some, some ideas in a, in a document, but until, you know, a bunch of us get together and poke holes in it you know, or say how hard it's going to be to do that, um, and embellish my ideas. Maybe somebody's got a better idea, you know. So we we kind of need to run it through the meat grinder at TFP, and, and whatever pieces come out and get reassembled is is what we actually actually end up doing. So until we get a little closer, I don't really want to talk about it. Um, sorry. Um, 
Dark Moon, Man Mole, the return of third person vision and animations in third person are planned. Uh, maybe, let's see how good they look once we get uh, motion capture animations in. Uh, maybe we'll allow it in single player. You know, I don't know. We have to worry about the, the, the cheats of looking around the corner in, in third person, you know, giving an advantage in PvP. There's a lot to talk about and think about. Camera clipping has to be solved, you know. Uh, I'd like to see it if we could pull it off, but, you know, we have to we have to balance everything and, and it has to look good first. So, Garee, Love Alpha 15, Mad Mole, any chance you'll look at the super bright mining helmet issue? Yeah, it's already done, dude. Um, Alderon, what do you think about an auto coat on off switch somewhere or an item you put in a special slot that would indicate it gets added if you're 40F and taken off if you're 90F. That sounds like a mod, you know, it's an extreme convenience feature. Um, I think if we do our job right, you, you, you know, you're not going to need to do a whole lot of coat and apparel management. So, um, you know, maybe we'll add a skill buff down the road that gives you resistance to extremes. So, 90 to one guy, it might be 80 for you because you've invested in your hardiness perk or whatever we'd end up calling it. So, um, but some, some auto coat removal thing, I, I think that's up to the player to do that. And that's kind of, I would, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't like a lot of maintenance, but then again, don't take me out of the game either. I mean, I, if I want to put a coat on, I'm going to put it on. I don't want to, what if it, what if it takes the place of, of an armor or something that I'm, I'm needing. I don't, I don't know. You know, that's, that's kind of tricky. So I would say, no, we're not going to put an auto coat removal or add adding thing. Um, be nice to be able to hotkey it or something though. So you can just press a button, equip favorite item done. I think something like that might be doable. And then you just assign your coat to the, um, equip auto equip shortcut or whatever maybe i don't know that's it's get that's tricky though so we'll see alfred what's up alfred can't get enough of it with my friends one thing i would really love to know more about is when there will be another water update um i know it would be basically a whole redo of the water physics but i'm curious what your thoughts are um We've talked about it. It's just a matter of scheduling and, you know, if we want to revisit water right now. We want to get electricity in. We want to get sleepers in. And I think everybody's on board with electricity and, and sleepers right now. So water is on the back burner and it'll get visited later. Um, Lou Zephyr, how is the progress on Random World Gen and Socket System? Can you give me details or sneak peeks? Not at the moment. Um, the current plan is to fix bugs. Um, we're, we're porting a few features to console. We're fixing bugs with alpha 15.1 and we are heavy into alpha 16. So, um, and then Roberts, so he's doing, he's importing the, the wolf and he's getting you know, that some UMA stuff done that we need. And then when he's got spare time, he works on random gen and, and the socket system. So that's going to be a back burner task all throughout Alpha 16. And as I get anything, any news, any screens, any, any progress on that, I will let you guys know because I know everybody's excited for that. Um, try 666. Question. This question was lost in another thread, but in A16, any chance of adding more to farming plants, seeds, food, perhaps a perk system for better harvest? Um, the pine trees I've noticed don't have seeds, only pine and maple. Uh, other trees, oh, so like bird, you want to farm some birch trees? Uh, farming with pumpkins, we, yeah, I don't know, man, we're, we want to overhaul food, but until we kind of, we're, we're giving some of the, we're giving the potatoes 
some love because their model, you know, their their 2D card looks like crap compared to the modeled corn. So we are updating a few farm crops, um, but we're kind of waiting for item perks so we can add skills, skill buffs and stuff like that when you eat food. And so once we kind of get the, the legendary item support in and items that can give skill and um, perks and buffs, then I think when we get that system done, then we want to revisit food so that you can have, you know, a special chili that gives you experience or maybe you know masks your smell for a while because you're you're farting i don't know <laughs> that's just an idea but um yeah when that gets done we're going to revisit all that stuff so i don't you know there'll be a little bit of done a little bit of some farming stuff you know i don't know we'll see we a lot of stuff are you know is on hold until we get further technology in another area one feature embellishes another and then we'll kind of revisit something so i think farming's at a standstill until we get a little bit um further down the road with the engine um Alyssa faden is it intended behavior that only the host of multiplayer game hears and sees lightning effects while other players do not no that's not intended that's a bug so please report that to the bug forum. I don't think it's true. What I think ha what I think is true is there's a delay. Like you enter, you're the host, and you enter a, a biome or whatever. You're getting the weather for it. Somebody else crosses into your area, and their system is still synchronizing. So it takes a while for the weather to transition from one biome to the other, and then once the transition is completed and everything is true then they might start seeing effects and whatnot zombie horde so excited for electricity and alpha 16 loving a 815 all the same good deal dude i assume there would be a back-end log of some kind that you guys use to help with bug fixes it's pretty frustrating when we're met with a bug that kills us and we don't understand why any chances of having more explanation in the upper left corner a zombie horde died from starvation that way we can also help report these bugs back to you guys um i'm not sure what you're asking um if we had to code in some special in-game bug report tool you know it would just be more work from us that takes away from actually making the game um you want to know why how you died maybe like you died from starvation is that what you mean Oh, zombie horde. Okay, I get it. Yeah, your name is zombie horde. You're saying I eat zombie horde died from starvation. I get it. Um, so like a, a belt message. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a, you know, anytime you give players feedback, it's frustrating. Yeah, when you die, what the hell killed me? Did I bleed out? Did I, I mean, I, I have to watch my videos over sometimes to see why I died even because, you know, some of the, yeah, so we're always working on that. We're always working on improving the communication to the player. You know, either more belt messages, more tutorials, more tool tips. So, yeah, I think that's, I think it would be great to know how you died. You got wrecked by Fat Zombie 01 or whatever his name is, you know. So I think, or you died of, and even broadcasting to the, over the server, I think games that do that are cool, you know, like um, so-and-so got eaten by a bear and rust i've seen that message a bunch you know so um yeah that's pretty cool so yeah hopefully we can put that in kingslayer hey dude what's up hey mad mole electricity and zip lines look absolutely blah 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 absolutely sick insert whatever four letter word you want right there i guess um <laughs> thank you are these Features plan, logic gates. I assume you mean electricity for logic gates. I think so. Um, pistons, maybe not Minecraft style, but um, a, f a crusher is possible. We're talking about doing some kind of crusher. And I've got some drawings I'll show you guys, some new stuff um, this weekend. 
and then um, electrified fences I believe those are on the list too thanks bro thank you um, red dragon hey mad mole can you make a notice board for multiplayer um, yeah we've we've talked about that um, I think that would be pretty cool so we want to be able to hire a bounty out for anybody so if you get raided and somebody steal your stuff and you're mad at him maybe the NPCs will even put out a reward for notorious players you know because we want to try and keep the game feeling like a you know a living breathing world on its own and if someone's going around terrorizing people eventually I think he's gonna piss somebody off like I know if you go try and kill a traitor at some point maybe you'll get a bounty on you if we do allow that so we'll see yeah I hope so um, game dog LP assuming bandits make it in how common will they be in Alpha 16 um, will they be a rare sighting or common if you guys haven't decided yet would you what would you like to see um I don't think they should be common I think they should be out there and I think maybe we'll restrict them to the harder biomes I keep pushing guys we need to have easy biomes and medium biomes and, and difficult biomes so um, it's just Navis gain is kind of set up in a certain way and it makes it a little harder to do that so you know anyway we're we're hoping to kind of move in that direction so I would say they're mostly going to be in the wasteland or later game in a game stage you know we're gonna have game stage leveled hordes so instead of you know a wandering horde of um, zombies it might be a wandering horde of bandits you know or a small group of bandits so um, probably a later game thing or if you go running into the wasteland like an idiot you're gonna get mowed down with by machine gun fire probably so and they might be held up, a few of them, you know, in a house held up somewhere, you know, rather than just zombies everywhere, you know, there might be bandits in a house, so we'll see. Or maybe there'll be NPCs that'll defend themselves, not always a bandit too, so we're kind of fleshing all that out as we go, and we'll see what happens. So, David M.U., mining question. Boulders seem to be the best way to get ore, except iron. Any plans to rebalance either the yield from the near bedrock local ores or yield from the boulder? Um, I don't know. We just recently made that change. Seems to me that the reward is not high enough to dig to bedrock and look for local ores. Um, it's it's down there. It's just finding it. It's the hard part. So hopefully in A16 with cave systems, you'll be able to run into the ore once you find one piece, you're golden because it's almost always in a big group of, of others and you can find a lot. So I think mining, you just got to put some time into and kind of figure it out. And once you kind of find some, you're okay. But yeah, it's it's a work in progress. So we'll see how things come. Um, Heggy, more settings for more freedom. Mike, hey man, well, my question is, when will you add more options and i mean a bunch of them to turn different things on or off depending on how we want to play the game um not anytime soon dude i mean we're not a fan of a lot of options because it just it's really hard to um tune the game to vanilla settings if there's a million dials so um we're not we put a bunch of options in early on in development and while a lot of people like that it's kind of bitten us in the ass because when someone says oh there's too much loot you know there's loot everywhere i mean we don't know what options you put on do you have loot abundancy on two or do you have it on zero i mean it's kind of hard to, to figure all that out when we're um we're trying to balance the game so and then you go on to say right now you're going in a direction that requires us to do things in a certain way or we can't customize our game much which would be much appreciated if we could I, you know guy this is an alpha game and you're you're asking for a finished game feature when we're in alpha and we just want people to play our game as we do, as we envision it because we're changing it constantly if you don't like it 
wait for another alpha or get into the XMLs and mod it out. I mean, there's honestly um, no limit to what you can do right now. It's all in the XML. You get in there and you mod it out. We're not going to put in sliders and make it easy for you because that just makes it so anybody can mess with stuff and we don't want every we don't want we don't need 10,000 cooks in the kitchen i know that doesn't sound nice i know it's not what you wanted to hear but that's the truth we're our interest is to make the game as cool as possible and make vanilla as cool as possible and then when we're done and we're happy with vanilla we're going to go wide and we're going to add all these features and, and sliders for you guys and we're going to put in tutorials on how to mod it and all that, but everything has to come at the, at the appropriate time. Otherwise, it just makes everybody's life a mess. So until then, you're just going to be patient, and I don't have a good answer for you. Um, I am DePonzer wants to know, will there be solar panels with the addition of electricity? Maybe not something you can craft, but find on the map also with jars and making anything with water, you don't get the jar back. Why is that you should get the empty jar back? Uh, it's just because, man, we don't have, there's no ejector shoot in, this, in, the, uh, in the recipe slot, you know? I mean, it's just the way it is. So jars are cheap. They're easy to make. Who cares? You know, go, go craft 5,000 jars with some sand. In five minutes, you've got 5,000 jars. Who cares? I don't, you know, it's no big deal. Um, solar panels, yes, they are coming. And I even drew a concept. I'll probably show that in tomorrow's video. Um, we make it so the claim blocks will make it so zombies won't spawn in that. Um, yeah, they already do that, and you only get one question. Um, so, Gary, hopefully, the question or the forum won't crash again. <laughs> oh, sorry, man, it just crashed. I can't see the questions. <laughs> sorry, just kidding. Um, can we get the missing POI from Alpha 15 Navis gain into random gen? There are no missing POIs. Random gen has everything that um, Navis gain has, as far as I know, except for some specialty ones that were like custom built for it. So, no, you can't get those, but otherwise, you should have everything. Check the XML out, and if I and if there is something missing, let us know. Any chance of new zombies in Alpha 16, or at least some additional alternate skins? I don't know. What do you guys want? Like 500 zombies? I mean, we've already, we just added like so much, and you want more. We're probably going to take some away because they don't look that great. Someone said they look like shit, so now I just want to pull them all out and have Joey make standard ones because of that comment. But no, I won't do that. Um, what we are going to do is make the UMA zombies we have look better, and until we get... Until we get some more coding bandwidth to make special behaviors, I see no reason to add more zombies because it's just dumb variety. And then everybody's going to fall in love with them. And then when we pull them out, they'll just be mad. And it's just like, so right now, don't fall in love with any of these new UMA zombies. They're kind of like, we're trying it out. And if that zombie doesn't make sense, you know, then we're probably going to, Pull it out. I mean, I think most of them are keepers, but we need to improve the looks of them a little bit. Um, like the splatter texture I use is just generic. So now that we've got a way to bake the skins out, I can have Joey just do an art touch-up pass on them and make them look nicer. We want to add some custom faces. They, they all had expressions, but we lost them as a last-minute bug that was coming up. So all their face expressions got disabled, so they don't look as good as they should. I had them all snarling and their mouths hanging open on some of them. It looked pretty cool. And then come down to the last minute, there's this bug and it's caused by the UMA face expressions. You can't hit them in the head. Headshots were broken because of that. So we disabled some stuff. So I'm going to have um, just Joey model some facial expressions in a, in a model of their face and just use that. So, you know, it's better than nothing, better than a, a plain face. So. There are going to be some improvements, and there are some new zombies coming in Alpha 16, but I'll elaborate on those further when they're done. Hey, bearded dude, how's it going? Um, Survival UK wants to know, will the right-click zoom crosshair view of the weapons get any reworking in Alpha 16? It's been mooted before and certainly with the bow and crossbow right clicking on zoom ends up hindering versus helping aiming um i have um 
hold on, my ear itch is like crazy, and I need to take these headphones off for a second. <laughs> um, okay. We are, I, I have uh, our modeler putting in iron sights on the crossbow so that you can actually use them. And that should be a lot better. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what you're talking about though. I mean, it's the bow, you have the, the crosshair, and I think the, um, the, the crossbow kind of sucks. I noticed that. I'm like, I'm not using this thing. So yeah, we're working on that. We're putting iron sights on it and it'll be getting some improvements. Hopefully the other guns are okay. I think they're okay. Um, DJ Dump. What do you think about adding a shield that can block off a single enemy? It would be super handy to defend yourself against a dog in early game stages. When you're out of stamina, you're basically dead. Blocking off the enemy would allow you to regain stamina and escape. You and your team are the most sympathetic developers I know. Well, thank you. Um, I think it's cool. I'd like to see a shield. It's just a matter of figuring out the interface and, you know, stamina ba and balancing, you know, if you could just be a meat shield and just kind of block everything, you know, that kind of negates the purpose of, you know, unless I guess two or three zombies are attached or swarming you, then you couldn't, obviously. It would probably wouldn't negate damage. It would probably absorb some damage, I imagine. But yeah, um, I, I want to see a shield. We just have to figure out the interface for it and then the interface for console, you know, and it's it's a big bunch of pain in the butt. But, you know, we'll, we, yeah, we'll figure it out. It's probably not on the table right now because there's just, right now we're, we're trying to remain hyper-focused on a few features, which is electricity and um, sleeper zombies. And then uh, I would say, you know, the wolf and the UMA bear are pretty up there too because they got skipped a build. Um, you know, and, and then when we kind of tie these features off and they're feeling pretty good if there's some more time and it's, you know, three or four months hasn't gone by, we've got time to put in a couple other big things, then, then we'll kind of go into, the, into a few more features. But we're trying to stay, you know, really focused on a few things and getting them really polished and tight and not going, not getting too feature creepy. So... Um, Mad Mole, is there, Brandikova, is there any chance that the quality condition of weapons could be reworked to affect accuracy, reliability, instead of damage? Um, yeah, you know, we, we need to, I was mentioning that, I mentioned that earlier, that we need to get some more parameters in the, in the weapons to get them uh, feeling better. 9mm feels like nine millimeter, no matter what type of condition the gun it's fired from, mostly I would rather see the accuracy affected. Maybe even frequent jams on low quality condition guns. Bonus if it exploded in your face when condition gets to zero. Yeah, maybe, you know, we've talked about stuff like that. We'll see. Um, the Reaver, night vision. Hey, man, I'm loving the game. Any plans for updating the night vision goggles? Currently activating them shows a lot of static and it's pretty hard to see at night with it on. I would love to be able to use these as an alternative to the mining hat. Um, yeah, we need to look at that. I've never even used them. I don't know what it looks like other than, hey, it looks kind of cool. Six months ago when I first saw them, so. Uh, yeah, I think you're right though. I think I tried them in a recent play session and I'm like, man, the mining hat blows this away. There's no way I'm using these, so. I guess for PVP, maybe they'd have a purpose, but yeah, they can't be a downgrade in vision that's for sure so they need to be effective and i agree with that so we'll, we'll look at them the benster item spec compare option mad mole can we please get a system in place to compare the specs of items like clothing tools and weapons that we find to the corresponding items that we have on our body or equipped in our hand And I am back. Um, yeah, I want to see something like that. You know, it's kind of like the Diablo compare system. So you can kind of, at a glance, see if the item is, is better or worse than what you currently have equipped. You might need to add a primary weapon equip slot, and then you could, like, that way it knows what to compare. Otherwise, since we don't have a dedicated weapon slot, it really wouldn't know... Um, I guess you'd have to select it, whatever's selected in the hotbar, and then um, 
you know, whatever. But then you need to click on it to actually see the stats to compare it to. So how do you compare it, you know? So we might come up with a primary weapon slot or something, and then, and then anything you click on, it would compare it to that. So if you have a melee, what, you know, in your primary, maybe your primary, secondary, maybe primary range, primary, I don't know, we have, a, we, we need to talk about it a lot and kind of figure it out. But yeah, we, we want to go there is the short answer. Um, Yojo Schmo. Electricity questions. I love the game. I had a quick question about electricity. I realize you might not have all the details fleshed out. And it is a work in progress, but in this first iteration of electricity, will the wires cut straight through walls <clears throat> and terrain to power each item wired to the generator? Well, first of all, the player has to walk from one item to another and place a wire. Um, so if there isn't a, a path, I mean, for the player to get through, then the wire is definitely not going there. But yeah, the short answer is yes. I think they probably will. They they will, they might. I don't know. You know, actually, I don't know. So I'm not going to answer this question with any definitive thing. So will there be an option to pin the wires along the walls? I don't know yet. We might do a conduit system too. So, but I think the general idea is the wires are going to be hanging from piece to piece, but. You know, it might take some work to not have a bunch of wires showing. I, I honestly, dude, it's it's way too early to answer that question with any sort of definitive answer. It's you know, so we'll let's just wait and see what happens. We we don't even have it. Lathan's still coding the first version. He's gonna check it in pretty soon, and then I can show you guys what we have. But what happens is we're all gonna play with it, and we're gonna say, hey, wouldn't it be cool if it did this, or maybe we should change that. And that's kind of how we go. And so right now, a lot of things are on hold until we get a little further along and actually play around with it and see what we like, don't like, and what needs to be improved. Uh, the Dino Rhino, are you guys planning on adding any more configurable options? Uh, I already answered this question, so... Um, but yeah, we've got more options coming. It's just a matter of when and do they do they make our life better or worse, you know? So currently feel there are way too animals spawning in the world. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Um, there's there's no option. Yeah, it's 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 kind of it's difficult chunk stuff. I don't even understand it to explain it, but I set one zombie or one animal in an area and, and it still gives me about four or five. So we need some more granularity there. Um, Zem, hey Mad Mole, talking about melee improvements. Do you know the game Severance? No, I do not. It's a pretty old game and one of the best fighting mechanics out there. Okay, and Nameless Player. This feature to swap the day and night cycle is pretty small and easy to do. Maybe you can put this in the patch instead of 16. Um, how do you know it's easy to do? Or you got our code? <laughs> I don't want to sound like a jerk, but you don't know if it's easy or not. It probably is, but we don't want to risk breaking the build for 3 million people, so we can't really... We're not going to do any changes to 15 at this point, only bug fixes. So, I mean, 15's done, and we're just going to patch bugs. Um, I don't think we're going to add anything new because it's too risky. Otherwise, you know, if we do, it'll get deployed to experimental and all that. But, yeah, I don't know. If it was easy to do, it would have been done already. Um, Lone Star Canuck. Still loving Alpha 15. Lots of fun. Question, fishing, any chance of fishing, making poles, bait? Um, it was mentioned. That's all I can say. Rick mentioned it. So, but I, you know, I think he wants to use the lock picking mini game. That's what I heard. So some kind of using that to catch the fish. So until that, until we get electricity done, though, there's no chance of anything, so we'll see. I'll 
I'll keep you guys updated. Um, it is. It was mentioned though, so that's that's a start. Um, Jackal Meyer. Will how will the new cave system affect structural integrity? Um, it won't until you start digging, and then it might all fall in on your head. That's what I know. Um, Swagner eight. Will we see anything being done with water physics or how water behaves in the game? Not right now. Um, U.S. US Marine Corps Grant, Mad Mole, will we see mini bike physics? I don't know what you're talking about. They already have physics. Um, Deathbringer's Wrath, can we have a fast travel to beds? I brought this up. Um, we're talking about it, bringing it back. Now that death has some consequence, uh, I don't really care if people use them to fast travel around to each other. So we could probably bring them back at some point. Um, Buero, radios and VOIP. I was thinking with electricity now being added, we can see radios added to the game and maybe a radio station all the fallout. And have the VOIP, which can only be heard if you're near the player eavesdropping and radio channels for broadcasting, be your own DJ. Yeah, I mentioned that. I wanted to get put in an MP3 player at least so people can drag songs into a folder or you go to a config and, it's, and you tell it what folder you want to put in, you drop MP3s in there and then it won't broadcast over the network, but you'll at least have your own music selection in playing in your house once you build a radio and you have power because I think that would add immersion and make me feel like hey, I don't have to listen to this creepy music all the time or whatever. I don't want to listen to zombies outside. I'm going to jam out and work on my base and they can die on spikes all day. All day long, that's what I think. So, um, suggestion makes me think of a new mode added with it. Hunt the DJ where players hunt down a DJ and kill it. Okay, um, that's out of the scope of one simple question. Sorry, I don't have time. I got to move along. My voice is frying and I got to get some work done today yet too. As it's only Friday at 1.30 and I'm just trying to get a head start on this because a friend of mine's getting married tomorrow and I'm going to go uh, to his wedding and all that. So I'm going to get some stuff done today so I'm not being crunched for time tomorrow because I still got to do the video tomorrow. Snipes pitch. With talks here and there about fire, what about the idea of being able to make pitch to place on the ground? It would give us a good used for flaming arrows to ignite a large group of zombies. I don't even know what pitch is, dude. Flix, hey Mad Mole, I want to ask if there are future plans to make the zoom or sniper rifles better. Magnification is like 1x, so it doesn't let you see the target closer than a real scope would. Uh, I don't, you gotta zoom in with the mouse wheel. I think it works fine. It's already, it's already a variable. You just don't know how to play the game. So Google how to zoom in and you'll probably like what you see. Creator, creator. Uh, will breadcrumbs be omnipresent? Once you compare, I don't even know, man. I'm not going to answer because breadcrumbs are a, a mystery to me and everybody. We, we talked about them the other day, but it's, I, I can't answer any questions definitive about them. So let's just wait and see. And then we're going to go a little further into that. Um, my question is about light. Light is a resource, a drama element, and essential element in this game. Until you get the mining helm, your needs are set for the rest of the game with no real drawbacks. Any plans on dealing with this yellow easy mode? Um, yeah, we, we're talking about it. We're talking about putting a, a battery in the, uh, in the mining hat. And then you can charge that in your battery bank and, you know, maybe you'll have to take a couple batteries with you. So we'll kind of see how that all shakes out. We talked about torches, having an inventory, and you can restock them with uh, tallow or animal fat and keep them burning. So I don't know if we want to have a, a light mini game going on all the time, but, you know, it, it, now that electricity's coming and there's some options to make that less annoying like hey i've got power so i've got perpetual light or light on demand when i flip a switch i don't need to 
so I think we might add that. We might put that in. So we're talking about it. Let's see where it goes. Tank, could you make it possible to craft paper out of wood? Yes, we've talked about that. It's probably coming. Lesifer, since electricity is coming, is there any chance for us getting a battery or a rechargeable battery recipe? You know, I just met, covered that already. Squealy, will you be adding an auto run button? I don't know. Talked about it. It'd be annoying. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow to uh, post um, a preview video showing some new stuff. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we will see you next week with more questions and answers.